Hello, I'm Bethan, one of the Metabolic Clinical Nurse Specialists at Bristol Children's Hospital. You have been asked to watch this video as the Metabolic team would like you to undertake a heel prick blood spot to monitor either your child's phenylalanine levels for PKU monitoring or homocysteine levels for HCU monitoring. We normally advise heel prick samples for children less than one year of age. The Metabolic nurses have provided you with a blood spot card, some lancets and an information leaflet to explain the process, which contains a picture of an example card and some useful diagrams. Before completing the blood spot, please ensure you have all of the equipment you require ready with you. You may find you also need a friend or relative to assist you as the process can be a bit fiddly at first. The equipment you will need includes a blood spot card, an envelope, a pen to write in the child's details, some lancets, a sharp spin, some cotton wool and water, and a tissue and plaster to stop the bleeding. The levels in your blood change throughout the day and especially after meals. It is usually recommended to collect the sample first thing in the morning before breakfast. If you find this difficult, then please discuss with your metabolic team who might suggest the best time for you to collect the sample. Filling in the blood spot cards. Please write the following details clearly onto the blood spot card. The patient's name, address, date of birth and NHS number. Please also add the date and time the sample is taken. Please write PKU monitoring if your child has PKU or add the HCU sticker if the child has HCU. Now I'm going to show you how to perform a heel prick blood spot test. Choose a foot. It is best to rotate between the feet each time to avoid damage to the heel. Wash your child's foot with soap and warm water and dry with a clean towel. Get your lancet ready and remove the safety cap by twisting the top and pulling it away. Place the lancet flat against the heel. You are aiming for the upper side of the heel, avoiding the bone and the flat of the foot. Press the lancet in against the heel and you will hear a click. This has pierced the skin. You can remove the lancet and place it safely into the sharp spin. Begin to gently massage the foot towards the heel. You may also find that pointing the foot downwards towards the ground may help with the blood flow. This can be done by positioning your child more upright. Once you have a large blob of blood, catch the blood drop onto the blood spot card by aiming in the centre of one of the circles. Only allow the droplet to make contact with the card, making sure you do not touch the card with the heel. Only use one drop per circle Dabbing repeatedly will make the results unreliable. You are aiming to fill two full circles with blood. Keep sampling until you have filled both circles with enough blood to soak through to the other side of the paper. If a circle is not full, try again with another spot until you have two full circles. If the blood flow stops before two circles are full, try holding the foot up for a minute, then lower it and quickly wash the heel with cotton wool and water and the blood flow may start again. If not, puncture the heel a second time or try the other heel. Once enough blood has been collected, press cotton wool onto the heel until the bleeding has stopped and then put on a plaster if you would like to. Leave the blood spot card on a flat surface to dry. How to post the blood spot. Once the blood spots have dried, put the blood spot card into the cover, spot end first and place this into an envelope. Post it with a first class stamp to the address you have been provided. You have now completed a heel prick blood spot for monitoring. Well done. If you need any further information or advice, please contact the metabolic nurse specialists.